Welcome back everybody to uh, Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. <laughs> Almost forgot the name of the channel. Uh, this is Glockman4519 uh, or David Hayes. I'm going to start using my, my real name. Um, I mean it's out there. Uh, and I'm going to bring you guys another ROM for the Nexus 6. Uh, this one here is OctOS. Uh, it was just released. This is the first version of it. Uh, and this is what they're calling their alpha release so guys you got to remember there are going to be some bugs with this so i want to get that out right now um so far though so good uh i have placed calls with it um uh, texting's working uh, data's working uh, camera's working i did uh, do some videos um, i don't know if i can show you the videos but i can show you at least the pictures that i took with it and i used the google camera um, and the only reason I use Google cameras is because the HDR works very, very well with this. Uh, it does save the pictures in, in HDR mode, uh, which means it gets or gives the best out of your camera. Um, as you guys can see, this is in just indoor lighting with no flash. Um, just beautiful. Uh, it did a very nice job. I mean, you can pick up the details in the dirt, the dust on the leaves. It's just outstanding. Camera's working great. Um, again, guys, this is the Nexus 6. This is not the Nexus 6P. Um, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, just yesterday, they may have released a uh, build for the Nexus 6P. Um, also, uh, I was running their stock kernel, or their kernel that you uh, that you flash that comes you know with it. Uh, and it was working perfectly. It does not force encrypt, uh, just in case you guys want to know that. Uh, it does not uh, encrypt your phone if you uh, flash it. Um, but if you are already encrypted, it's, you're going to remain encrypted. It just doesn't change anything. So I'm not encrypted, uh, and it's not going to change that. Uh, also, Substratum. Uh, this ROM was built uh, for Substratum OMS support, uh, which means it does have Marauder uh, uh, built right into it. So all the functions on, um, in Substratum are working. Uh, now, so what I mean by that is it's not... Um, it's not the legacy mode. Uh, you do not have to do a reboot. You can uh, set your theme up, and it will uh, it'll do it just like in the video that I have out with how Substratum works. So you set your you, you set your uh, theme that you want. Uh, you hit apply and enable, and it's just going to throw your theme on. It's going to do the system UI restart, everything all in one, and you are going to be good to go. Um, by the way, guys, the theme that I'm running this time is called Lunar. Um, it's called Lunar UI or Lunar. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fairly decent uh, theme, um, and it is working great. It looks great on here, although any of these would be great to run. Uh, now, I will tell you guys that uh, Tronic, they are telling us that it is not ready for N. Uh, I have tried it on a couple N ROMs, and it does work. It's a little sluggish, so I would hold back on it until they get um, Tronic 100% uh, going for N, okay? Just letting you guys know. But all these other ones I have tried, uh, and they all work brilliantly. Um, the only thing bad about N so far, as I've mentioned in the past on N ROMs, is the headers. We do not have headers. Uh, so far, there is no theming for headers. God, I hope they put theming for headers in this eventually, because this sucks. Um, but, I mean, it is what it is, and it's the way it goes when they come out with a new release you know it's just going to run like this until somebody does something uh, or gets the right coding and you know and it just takes a while to do so let's go ahead and get back to this guys we're going to go into settings real quick i'm going to scroll down let you guys see uh, about foam uh, it says this is the nexus 6 android version 7.0 uh, oct os version uh this was the um september 30th build which my anniversary 32nd year uh, was on the 29th, so uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I did promise my wife I would stay away from this this weekend, but I figured I had to get this one out to you guys, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this out. So uh, I am running Elemental X Kernel. Uh, they do have a build out that uh, is N. Uh, it's I think it's four yeah 407. It's working great, um, and I highly recommend uh, the Elemental X Kernel. Um, although again, guys, the kernel that comes with the ROM uh, is running great. They also have their own kernel um, for tweaking and stuff, uh, and I don't think it's quite ready yet, at least not for the Nexus 6 version 7.0. Uh, but they are working on it, and you will be able to install it as soon as they get all of their um, 
you know, ducks in a row, I guess, <laughs> I guess you could say. Uh, system UI tuner, uh, these are just your standard uh, options on your system UI tuner, you know, for your status bar. Uh, this is what, you know, you can pick and choose what you want to put on your status bar, what you want to show. Um, also, guys, don't go by the way my status bar looks um, it, to interpret that as to how it's going to look when you flash it. Um, I have, uh, I installed a zip off of the ROM that I built. Uh, I have my own personal um, uh, Pure Nexus um, uh, Android version 7.0 build that I built. This was before uh, Nathan, uh, or Nate, yeah, Nathan uh, shut down uh, the uh, open source on Pure Nexus. And then I had a zip made for it, um, for the three minute mod. Uh, I figured I would try it, uh, since there's no zip out yet for this ROM, and it does work. The problem is, is it kind of screws up the status bar. As you can see, my camera symbol and all that is really, really, really teeny tiny, uh, but I, I'll live with that. That's fine. Um, also, my center clock doesn't work anymore, but again, I'll live with that. Now, with the standard ROM, you, it comes with, and I'm going to get to that, uh, where you guys can actually switch that over um, to uh, center. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go on up to the OctoS, or the Tentacles, what they call it. And uh, when you open it up, at, you, you guys can see, uh, first off, it's going to be Expanded Desktop. Uh, these are the options. Uh, it's going to go through, pick the ROM, or pick, listen to me, pick the apps that you have uh, installed that will run, and you can choose whether or not you want to run it. Uh, it does come with Kernel Auditor Mod in it. Uh, you do have your miscellaneous tweaks. Um, flashlight notification toast, uh, scrolling cache media uh, behavior on your boot. Uh, power menu. This surprised the hell out of me. Um, they give you a ton of options on your power menu, and they are all there, and it works great. So uh, kudos to them. Uh, I think they did an outstanding job on that. Uh, you guys know me from any of my videos in the past. I love a lot of options on my power menu. I use that. It's a quick feature to get to. I can feel the button in the dark and, you know, just go from or go for it. So uh, I do like that feature. Uh, next up is going to be Substratum. Again, uh, this is just a shortcut uh, to get you to Substratum. Uh, you can hide the icon in your system tray if you want, or not your system tray, but in your app drawer if you want. Um, but uh, I choose to leave it that way. Uh, also, uh, Super Sue, it does come with um, Chainfire's uh, Super User. It's uh, version 2.78, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, well, we'll just go into it here real quick and let you see it. And Super Sue is working perfectly, guys. Uh, so, um, you guys, uh, you may have seen some of my posts. Uh, I've been using Magisk uh, for a lot of the NROM. Um, but this here uh, makes it so that you don't have to, even though I like Magisk. I think it does an outstanding job. Uh, I think they've got a great future ahead of them, uh, and I highly recommend it. Uh, if you guys uh, want to be able to turn root off and on and have it work for those apps that you need no root for, Magisk works great. Uh, just letting you guys know. Uh, but this comes with Super Su, uh right in it. It's working. You don't have to flash anything to get it to work. It works great. Uh, next up is going to be lock screen, but they don't have anything there yet. Uh, then we're going to have status bar. Uh, you can show your network traffic if you guys want to, uh, you, uh, but they don't give you any options to color it yet, so uh, we'll see where that goes on down the line. Uh, next up is going to be your notifications. Uh, show notification count, force expanded notification. Uh, then you have your disable immersive mode messages, uh, which I like to uh, get rid of that. Next up is going to be the quick settings. Now, if you go into quick settings, um, you get the option to show your brightness slider, uh, your quick pull down. Uh, then underneath that's going to be your tiles animations, which is cool, again, because they have that incorporated into uh, Android N, and it works. Uh, right now I have none, uh, but I like mine on rotate and fast. Uh, I leave it on linear, but if you guys want, I'll show you the options that they give you. Uh, time and date. Uh, this is going to be where you can set your uh, clock to the center. Uh, as you guys can see, I do have it already set to center, but remember I told you I flashed that three-minute mod uh, that was made for my personal Pure Nexus build uh, of Android 7. Uh, I, I really want that, I, I like this battery uh, icon, or I like, you know, I, I like the three-minute battery. Uh, so, you know, I'll live with it being on the, on the uh, right side uh, until there is a, uh, a three-minute zip made for this ROM specifically, uh, and that'll, that'll definitely take care of all of this. 
but uh, when I went ahead and flashed this, it moved it over to the right. Now I can't <laughs> put it back. But uh, I will tell you guys that uh, with you know you're not gonna you don't have this zip, so uh, you will be able to move it to the center. You'll be able to put your AM PM. All this works. I'm just telling you now, it works. Okay. Uh, let's see status bar items. This again. Um, uh, status bar items. Let's see. Oh, okay. You can pick and choose for your status bar items here. Basically, this is your system UI tuner. Uh, color and appearance. Uh, I have my night mode off. Uh, I don't run with that. Um, do not disturb. I do like to have that on my uh, volume button. So when I hit my volume button up like that, uh, you notice the do not disturb comes up. Or no, it didn't. Well, <laughs> It should have. Uh, it did before I flashed that zip. So, guys, that is working, just so you know. Uh, let's see, nav bar. These are your nav bar settings. Uh, I don't know if I can change the size of that or not. Uh, let me see here. All right, anyways. And under other, show brightness and quick settings. Uh, enable split screen on the swipe up gesture. Uh, I don't use the swipe up gesture, but if you guys do, uh, that's where it's at. And then, of course, your power notification controls, uh, which, again, um, you know, if you guys use it, there it is. So that is uh, pretty much it for the status bar, navigation. Uh, again, it's going to give you the buttons. You can reorient them if you want. Uh, swap buttons uh, when the screen is rotated, you know, your volume rocker wake, uh, playback control. Uh, then if you swipe over again, uh, under multitasking, this is going to be your recent setup, which is just the full, or your immersive mode. Uh, I'm running full screen. It does work. Uh, as you guys can see, uh, I am in full screen. No, I'm not. I'm not in full screen mode, or else my, my status bar would be gone. It does have the clear all button on the top, so you guys can clear them all if you like, just like that. So, that's all working. Um... Again, guys, you have to remember this is an alpha build. There, everything is not going to be perfect, okay? Uh, I just got to get that out there. Uh, under display, really quickly, um, you have your adaptive brightness, uh, screensaver, ambient display, all that. Uh, let's see, dashboard settings, font size. If you guys want to go with a, a larger font, you just click it. Uh, it gives you the preview. Again, that's uh, the uh, Nougat. Uh, thing same goes with the display size you guys know all this nothing's different on this uh, i am running default and it <laughs> okay yeah so uh let me go back to display again I'm, i want to make sure that uh because i think it does that but it actually takes it where you want to go uh and it is right now oops back uh display size yeah it changed it uh, i was on default before i want to go back to uh default and see it closed it out but it changed it i'll show you we should be back on default again under display yep so we are back to where we started all right guys so it does work it's just going to close it out uh, that's it changing uh, hopefully they'll get that ironed out under notifications uh, this is what you get you can pick and choose what notifications you want to show uh, on your lock screen um, this is your, see, you can set up what you want to show. Right now, I have don't show notifications. Uh, you guys can do what you want with that. Sound. I want to take that all the way down. I should have had that to begin with. Uh, let's see, your do not disturb settings. Uh, let's see, other sounds. Uh, these are your uh, settings under other sounds. Uh, I think I'll show you guys security, and I think that's going to be about it. Um, oh, I didn't go through uh, um, the developer options yet, neither. Uh, you, you, of course, you can encrypt your phone. Uh, you have your di uh, device administrators, unknown sources. Guys, make sure you turn that on. Uh, if you're new to Android, you need that on. If you're going to uh, install any apps from your SD card or, you know, from a buddy or, uh, at, you know, any anywhere but the Play Store, you need to have that turned on. Screen pinning is all the way at the bottom. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're going to go into go ahead and go into the developer options. Uh, we'll let you guys see. Make sure you have OEM Unlock turned on. Make sure, guys, first thing you do... Turn that on. Um, Android debugging, you also want to have that on. Uh, if you guys don't know, if you hit a wall, that is going to get you 
uh, out of trouble. That way you can, uh, you can, you know, uh, push files over to your phone from your computer through ADB. You have to have that on. Uh, that's about it, guys. Everything on here is pretty much the same as all the other ones. I can't see any difference. Uh, I will tell you one thing, though. Uh, this ROM comes flashed uh, with the... Let me see if I can find home. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I'm going to pause this real quick. All right. Anyways, guys, when this thing is flashed, it's gonna it's not going to come with Nova Launcher like I have on. What it's going to come is it's going to come with... Uh, the new Pixel Launcher, all right, and it's going to be themed by Team uh, Blackout. Um, so I want to—I definitely want to go there so you guys can see that. Uh, but this, there is no home switch in Android N yet, or none that I can find. So I'm going to go to uh, my default settings, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the Pixel Launcher, and I'm going to click Home again. I'm going to pick Pixel Launcher always, um, and this is how it comes flashed, guys, just like this. Okay, so this is the the uh, the um, the uh, <laughs> launcher that you're going to get. Man, I can't think. But what's really cool about this is you swipe up, that gives you your, your uh, app door, okay? Uh, if you swipe down, that takes you back, which is really cool. You don't have to use back buttons anymore. Swipe over uh, from the left. This is going to give you your Google uh, pages, uh, which I haven't set up yet because I really don't use this launcher. Uh, but it's not a bad launcher. It's actually pretty cool. I like the way they, uh, they run with this. Um, but I just wanted you guys to see that this is going to be how it looks when it is booted, just like this. Although, this is not going to be the wallpaper, okay? Um, I, I get this wallpaper off of the Google Plus uh, community. Uh, if you go to, um, um, it's called, uh, uh, I, I don't know, I'm going to have to show you guys. Um, if I go to Google Plus community, I'll go under the communities. And it's all the way down into the R's. Uh, let me find Resurrection Remix. Uh, there's Resurrection. Uh, right here it is. Uh, this community is called ROM Wallpapers. Or ROM Papers. So guys, just look that up. Okay, ROM Papers. Do a search in Google. Or Google Plus. Uh, for ROM Papers. Become a member. Um, and you will be able to get custom wallpapers for any... ROM or any ROM that has custom wallpapers out. Okay, so if I look under here for like OctoS, I don't know if there's any here, and I don't see any. So, anyways, but there you have it, guys. I've kept you long enough. Uh, this is OctoS's first release of Android N, Android Nougat uh, for the Nexus 6. Uh, I highly recommend you guys give it a shot. Uh, just so you guys know, I am running um, this on multi ROM. Uh, I want you guys to see that as well. Uh, so, uh, you can flash this ROM on Android version uh, 3020, okay? Um, I'm doing it. So, and, and all of my other ROMs are working. And I know a lot of times they're going to tell you this won't work on uh, uh, 3.0.2.0. It will work on 3020, just letting you guys know that. Just make sure you have the, uh, the Android and bootloader. Um, flash because you can always go back to marshmallow on that bootloader or anything lower you just can't go higher that it that's the way um, that's the way Nexus devices work okay but these are the ROMs I have on Beanstalk Resurrection Remix and they are definitely working um, I've already booted into it uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys before I go um, my holder for my Nexus 6 and my other devices are it's ordered it should be here next week so hopefully the next videos I put out are going to actually be videos. Uh, I want to go to that type of a format. Uh, that way I can show you guys how to install these ROMs. Okay? So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I want to thank all of my subscribers, and I will see you guys on the next one.